I kind of walked around. I did that one this morning back around the other side over there. And, and that's beautiful. And um, so I'm going to give this one a try. Um, well, I used to do almost exclusively plein air, but since moving to Oregon, <laughs> <laughs> I found that uh, uh, the winter months and uh, actually the spring hasn't really exactly been real conducive to uh, uh, plein air stuff. So I've been actually doing far more things in the studio. Uh, what I'm doing is I selected the, you know, I decided to do this and I made a little, actually just a real funky looking little thumbnail to kind of position my stuff. And, uh, and then I, I like to tone the, the board, so I put a, a light wash of, of uh, sort of a brownish tones on there, because that way it gives a nice background. And now I'm just sort of starting to block in my uh, colors and the, and, and the values. So now I'm gonna I sort of position where I'm gonna put the flowers. And now I'm gonna uh, kind of just roughly uh, position the shadows uh, with some darks and it that sort of forms the uh, layout I, I love the intensity of being outside um, it's just you know you're surrounded with just the sensory um, things of nature and the, the, uh, the you know it's very it's ex exciting it's very fulfilling uh, far more than just for me than just sitting in a studio uh, doing a painting and it's 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 also, it's, it's very challenging to me uh, to work outside because as you're, you know, you've got all these things going on and uh, sorting out and simplifying and, and uh, figuring out how it's gonna work on canvas is really quite the challenge. It's much more exciting to me uh, to work this way because you really have to be on your toes and you have to work fairly quickly. That's why I'm uh, blocking out these maps because the shadows are gonna change uh, you know considerably as we're talking here and uh, you know by the time I finish that will be it almost be a completely different scene so what I do is I, I get this scene blocked in rather rapidly and I'll that's my you might say my road map and I'll kind of stay with that even though the shadows and uh, everything is going to be quite different um, by the time I finish uh, I'll more or less stay with the uh, my original scenario here. When I'm in the studio, I'll work bigger. Uh, generally, outside I work small, just because you have to work so quickly. Um, sometimes I work a little bigger, and I'll you know go back, to, particularly if the weather is cooperative, um, you know, several days and w work on the same one. But normally I work, you know, especially outside. I, I work at a you know rather small scale. You know, a lot of times you're you know you have to cover a fair amount of ground and. Uh, before you set up painting and I work on the panels because and they're panels that I make myself and they're very lightweight and and so they're portable you try to keep the painting in the shade as much as possible because the it's crazy the reflection of the sun on it <clears throat> you can't tell what you're doing so you want to keep it in the shade and the uh, with a panel it, you know the sun won't shine through it but if you had a stretch canvas the sun shines through it, and it, for those two reasons, I, you know, use the use the panels, and uh, you can buy them, but I I prefer to make my own. You know, I love being outside, so um, and I used to be uh, quite a backpacker and all that. You know, love the wilderness, and uh, so this is just really a natural extension of that. These are oil. I, I really like working on oil acrylics. You know, I mean, they dry so fast. Sunny day like this. You know, this stuff would be dry before you can think about it. I was, I was a commercial artist for, I mean, that's what I mainly did. They're graphic, uh, graphic designer and art director and that kind of stuff for a long time. So how'd you get into, how'd you start going from there doing plain air and... Well, we lived in Alaska for a long time and, and uh, so I started, you know, wanting to get serious about doing my own work and, and uh, did a lot of um, work up there with landscape in watercolors is you know outrageous place to do landscape and um, took a sabbatical uh, one year from work and had you know a couple shows and and uh, then uh, we moved down to Southern California uh, and in to Laguna Beach no less where um, you know it's a center for plein air painting and uh, I had never heard of the California Impressionists before until I got down there and of course I saw that stuff and thought, whoa, man, that is, you know, 
uh, so cool. So then I, uh, that's when I started getting into, started doing oils and gradually uh, just uh, doing this now. We were living, uh, at the time, uh, we were renting a place around Santa Cruz. Uh, it was a really great place, but it was a short-term kind of thing, and and um, so we couldn't afford, a, you know, a place down there at all. I mean, it's unbelievable prices. Un I mean, absolutely unbelievable. So we knew we were going to wanted to stay on the West Coast. We'd look in Colorado and some places, but knew we wanted to stay on the West Coast, so we went up to... Actually, we were thinking about Washington, but we looked at Eugene, Corvallis, and some of the places on the other side of the road. And on the way up, we uh, saw this really neat house over in Newburgh on the internet. And uh, but we went on up to Washington and to Olympia, and on up to Port Town, you know, up to Port Towns, and really didn't like what we were seeing up there because they're overdeveloping it like crazy up there. So we came, called the real estate lady, and she took us to. Uh, this, it actually was a really cool place in Newburgh, but it just had lots of problems, more than we wanted to deal with. And she said, oh, there's a this great craftsman-style house over in McMinnville that she actually would, had her eyes on, but her husband really didn't want to move into town. So we went over there, and it just, you know, rang the bells. Uh, this is just uh, um, a delight to be able to do this.